In this video, I'll be showing how to make a MIDI delay effect. And what it's going to do is attempt to kind of an emulate an audio delay in that for every MIDI note we receive, we'll send out a succession of MIDI notes to another instrument. Um, and each note can be changed via the velocity or the uh, note pitch. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is delete all of our audio ins and outs here because we're not going to use them at all. And next I'm going to open up the voice info module. And we're going to use the voice info module to control the taps of our delay. So I'll just give you a simple idea how that's going to work. Uh, first we're going to subtract a value from 1 from the V output of the voice info module. Next I'm going to use a MOLT plus module. I'm going to multiply a knob by the values coming out of the voice info module. And then we're going to add this value to the note pitch and I'll show you how that will affect the note pitch of our successive MIDI notes that we'll be sending out. So let's just set this up and then we'll run the output into a MIDI output module. And once we make that active in the properties over here, we can look at the values that we are making for our note pitch. So let's use split screen mode to look at how this is going to work. So with the pitch shift module set to 12, we're going to end up multiplying 12 by the output of the V module, which is going to give us a 0, 1, 2, and 3 after we subtract 1 from the value. So the product of that multiplication is going to be 0, 12, 24, 36. You see that each voice um, basically is adding the knob value to the voice, the previous voice before it. And we're going to take those values and add them to our note pitch. And that is going to shift our pitch up each time a new delay uh, note is sent, a new delayed version of the note is sent. Alright, so now I'm going to use a power x to the y module to uh, get a similar effect for our note velocity where it will change either going up or down with each successive MIDI note. So we're going to raise this knob value here by uh, this the p power that's determined by uh, the V output of the voice module once again. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up multiplying the delayed gates by these values. So our, de our gate is going to be delayed by a value that we decide Let's actually create a knob using the create control command on the delay itself here. Alright, so we're going to multiply the delay time by this voice info module is output as well. So for each note, we'll end up delaying it. Um, a number of times equal to the number of voices in this instrument and each delay will be longer than the last so they'll kind of come out in order. Alright, so now we can just multiply these values together and finally we're going to use a hold module to determine how long each MIDI note that we're sending out is held for. So we'll use the value that we just determined uh, to trigger the hold value, the hold module, and the output will go straight into the gate input of the uh, MIDI out module. And now, once again, we will uh, create a knob to determine uh, the value 
that we're going to hold for. And it's just going to be a knob from 0 to 1. And we're going to multiply it by our delay time. So we don't want to uh, create a situation where each MIDI note is lasting longer than the delay time. Because if we do, then we're going to have a buildup of notes that are on in whatever instrument we send this to and it's going to create kind of ugly effect so I'm just going to multiply this by our uh, the maximum time will be our delay time or a little bit under actually we'll change that in a moment all right so now let's get ourselves a synthesizer to trigger some notes on i'm going to use steam pipe which is uh, one of my favorite reactor ensembles and we're going to run some audio to the outputs here, like so. Now we need to use, um, well, let's do some rearranging of the panel here first. And like I said, we want to modify the hold time so that the maximum value will be a little bit less than our delay time. So we'll just change it so the maximum, instead of being 1, is something like uh, 0.999. And we want the minimum time to be above zero as well, so we'll change that to 0 0.001. All right, so now let's connect this via MIDI to Steam Pipe. So select Steam Pipe, and in the Properties, go to the Connect tab. And I'm going to change the MIDI channel incoming to 2. And that way, uh, the MIDI controller I'm using to trigger our MIDI delay effect is not also triggering Steam Pipe at the same time. And we can use our instrument to control Steam Pipe in this drop-down menu here. And let's just name our instrument something more uh, useful, like MIDI. And we're just about ready to give it a try. So like I said earlier, we can change the number of voices in our instrument to change how many delays there are. Alright, so one thing I forgot to mention as it was happening is I set the uh, MIDI note and MIDI gate inputs that we use today uh, to mono, and that's kind of key for this effect. So if you want to follow along, that's one thing to remember. Alright, so that's all we have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it.